We are standing here at the old Biscuit Mall in Woodstock, Cape Town. And uh, behind me is the old silo building. It's just been renovated or um, made into new accommodation for Cape Town Creative Academy. They took five floors. The top floor is the Potluck Club restaurant, which is quite well known in Cape Town. And, it, and then in the basement is the Chocolate Factory Cocoa Floor. The silo was uh, built originally by the Pyatt's family and that was in 1914 and it was used as a factory for them to make biscuits. Then it was bought in 2005 by the Old Biscuit Mall PTY Limited which currently owns it and previously on top of the silo there were two gable walls in the um, Cape Revival style. It was a few decades unfortunately demolished. When we were asked to uh, renovate the existing silo that was totally unused, we had to also take into account that it's a historical building. It's a series of vertical silos really, it's probably, I think it's 6 by 3, so the 18 vertical silos uh, separated by concrete walls, uh, with a concrete wall on the outside, so they were all 150 millimetres thick, so it was a pretty sturdy structure, and uh, basically we had to cut that structure out. We are currently standing inside one of the original silos, one of the few left over, in, inside the silo building and it's used to uh, for a fire escape staircase and also the main staircase inside the building. This is the best example of one of the silos that you can actually still see. They had to break, they had a concrete slab on the top and they had to break that down first and then they had to cut sections of walls out and then crane it out from the top and that is a, a big health and safety risk, so um, it is a constant uh, headache for the contractor to make sure that it is safely done and uh, they worked under great stress and, and in fact that demolition work was the biggest challenge of this whole project and in itself it took a lot longer than we anticipated. We simply couldn't do it faster from a health and safety point of view. The concrete floor was a practical consideration of how they're going to build it and a lot of consultation with the contractor we went for a solution with precast slab elements spanning from beam to beam and these were propped before construction and then we cast a concrete slab on top of that those precast uh, units so we got a nice solid concrete floor. What we're seeing here on the first floor level is uh, the remnants of the original concrete walls as they were cast um, to form the silo uh, division walls. And it, uh, for the purpose of this art school that now occupies this uh, facility, it has a beautiful uh, timber grain finish from back in the old day. And uh, it actually works very well in this context in its raw industrial look that they've created here. It's a perfect match it would seem. And in fact, it's still uh, got some structural um, function, although uh, it's only at this level that we did retain these walls specifically for the client request. But above this, uh, all the other internal walls have been taken out to create more clear open spaces. Standing here 
under the canopy in front of the silo. Um, as you can see, canopy has been constructed um, above what we see as the heart of the biscuit mill or the village square of the Vis biscuit mill. The idea of the canopy is to protect the market against rain um, and harsh weather conditions. Design considerations here were to create a light floating roof structure. That's why we created it out of aluminium slats that gives a pergola effect and a translucent sheeting over that to protect from the rain. This has been one of the most exciting projects that uh, I've worked on and I must say it's been a great team to work with. I don't think one gets these type of, of projects a lot of times in your life but it's been really, really an amazing project and I think it's also given quite a bit back to Woodstock, a background for all the creative people in Woodstock.